It's Game 6 of the Western Conference Finals. The Los Angeles Lakers are down two games to three with the opportunity to prove themselves to the league, their fans, and most importantly, themselves. It's a pivotal must-win battle against the Denver Nuggets. Will round three end in an upset of epic proportions coming right up? Welcome to Game 6 of the Western Conference Finals on 2K Sports. The atmosphere in this building couldn't be any better with a trip to the NBA Finals at stake. This is Brian Anderson at the table with basketball royalty, Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Allie, take it away. Well, Nikola Jokic has transformed his conditioning. He said, when I first started playing back in Serbia, I couldn't do a push-up. And when I came here, I was probably the worst conditioned player in the league. I lost a lot of weight and I feel much better. To be honest, I don't run faster, but I can play a lot longer. That's what matters. Brian? Yeah, it helps for sure. Thanks, Allie. Taking a look at Los Angeles, their season is teetering on the brink, needing a win here at home to force a decisive Game 7. So true, B.A. I mean, this is almost already a Game 7 for them. It's all or nothing time, and these fans are amped up for it. When you get this close to the finals, you're not holding anything back. Now Denver's starting five. Caldwell Pope and Porter Jr. They're the two and the three. Gordon is the four with the Joker in the middle. And it's Murray in a point. And for the Lakers, they've got D'Angelo Russell, LeBron James out there with Jared Vanderbilt. And then it's Anthony Davis. And it's Reeves in at the two. Pass to Russell. From deep. Buries it from three. Boy, you look at D'Angelo Russell. He's got a sweet stroke to the left. He can knock it down from three, but always seems to be playing at his pace under good control. Stolen by Russell. Here's the three. And another three for the Lakers. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Stolen by Davis. Let's it go from deep. Count it. One for one to start the game. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. About a minute played here so far in the first. Jokic with a screen on Davis. Here's Murray. Ooh, nothing falling for them right now. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of three so far from the floor. And here's Vanderbilt from the arc. Knocks down the triple. And this is how you want to start the ball game. Four for four from the field. Seems like they're right on point and can't miss. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going.
On defense, the Lakers. First minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. And Caldwell Pope gets it to go. Well, what a critical bucket. This game could have gotten out of hand early if they allowed that run to go much longer. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, they're trying to close this gap. Always a good option to probe the paint and see if you can get an easy one inside. And they are letting those threes fly from outside. Really in a great rhythm. That's already five made triples in the first quarter. What a start. Now here's Murray. Here in the first quarter, with about two minutes gone by, goes up on the wing, and it's Jokic missing. Well, I cannot believe he didn't capitalize there, and neither can he. And there's James from the arc, and the Lakers hit again from deep. Wow, five consecutive threes. This defense looking very frustrated right now. Both teams get the message to cover shooters after one or two wide open looks at the three-point shot, but it seems like they have just not figured it out. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. Davis from long range. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. Davis has got his second bucket of the night. Tipped away. Russell from outside. Pure from three-point range. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Los Angeles. Well, the effort they've shown on defense has been infectious. Everyone on this team continuing to jump at opportunities to come away with steals. And, you know, another thing that's been working for them tonight, scoring off turnovers, points off miscues. They've been converting any mistakes at the other end. Just four to shoot. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. Wide open. Again, the Lakers. Another turnover leads to another bucket at the other end. And we all know miscues can really be game changing. Pretty much the most damaging play you can make is giving the ball to the other team without your defense being set. Both sides going at it. Classic good offense versus good defense. James outside. The three. And another three for the Lakers. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Some changes now for the Lakers. Bombas checked in for Vanderbilt. And it's Schroeder in for Russell. And a new group getting ready for the Nuggets. Bryant, he's checked in for Jokic. Green comes in for Gordon. Brown, he's checked in for Caldwell Pope. And it's Jackson in for Murray. to Green. Jackson against Schroeder. Now here's Jackson. He's guarded closely. 
The Nuggets with another miss. Wow, I'm surprised. I thought that was definitely automatic. Good work there as it goes. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. And there's James from the arc. And the Lakers hit again from deep. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possession. James with a steal. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. And it was ignited by the steal by LeBron. I mean, he's got his head up right away, and the ball is out of his hands quickly. For Denver, they've gone just three for seven here at the start. Schroeder against Jackson. Who poked away. Stolen by Schroeder. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. Here's Bamba. And that one off the back of the rim and in. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard. And they are landing some haymakers now. We're at the end of the first, and what a blowout already in this one. Lakers ahead, delivering the blowout. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. everybody this game six getting started and for the Lakers this has been the game they wanted to have well clearly they played well in the first period because of their selfless attitude yeah and you know so many of their hoops came off an assist which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball and here's Jackson Looking for his first basket still in this one. On the floor for Denver, getting going in the second. Jeff Green out there with Thomas Bryant. Then there's Reggie Jackson. Then it's Bruce Brown. And it's Porter in at the three. They're really in control on both ends of the floor right now. Forcing turnovers and finding easy points while the other guys struggle to keep up. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Bamba. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. And Davis slams it home. Davis, such a terror in the open court. With his size and speed, that's a really lethal combination. When you're casual with the ball, it can come back to bite you. Yeah, B.A., playing loose can help you and hurt you. They really need to tighten it up. For the Nuggets, Nikola Jokic is checked in for Bryant. Gordon comes in for Green. And Murray subbed in for Jackson. Jamal Murray. Murray with it. He's picked up by Schroeder. Gordon, the pass to Jokic. Here's Murray. The shot no good. And the Lakers going the other way now. Up top, Davis. Defended by Gordon. Walker's shot is off. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Murray against Schroeder. Back to Murray. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Gordon, the pass to Murray. Back to Gordon. Six on the shot clock. Up top, Brown. Going inside. And that one drops for him. Boy, I like how Gordon dishes the ball. When his teammates are open, he finds them on time and on target. The Lakers have got two of three shots to go in the second. Here's James. Oh, oh wow! Oh, watch out for the Big finish. And he goes in for the dunk. It never gets old seeing LeBron throw it down, especially when he decides to do it with a little flavor. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Gordon on the wing. Walker on the double team. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Here's 
Here's James. And again, it's the Lakers. We see it happen again. They give the ball away, and it immediately hurts them. Yeah, that's been the pattern, guys. I mean, their turnover is not only killing their offensive flow, but fueling the fire at the other end. That's, that's a losing combo. From downtown, drills it from deep. James has got seven points for the quarter. Hey, they are really looking to move the ball on the break. <laughs> it's impressive. And they double up Jokic. Gordon outside. Brown against Walker. Jokic the screen. Brown passes to Porter. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Well, you know, on the inside, Porter is a very skilled player. He understands that you've got to be multidimensional, a lot of versatility to your game to be effective inside. Here's James. And again, it's the Lakers. This is some kind of performance we're seeing from him today. He has yet to miss a shot. And they double up Jokic on the wing, Porter. To the middle. Here's Brown. Basket counts. Brown's got his second basket of the game. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. You know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Hard to win games when you allow clean looks from the perimeter. You're exactly right. I mean, those come back to bite you every time, just like it's biting them now. Steps back. Gordon. Two points. That one goes. Gordon's got his first basket of the night. I tell you what, it's, it reminds me of one of my college coaches who used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. And there's James from the arc. And the Lakers hit again from deep. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. And it's the Lakers on the break. And here's Schroeder outside. Knocks it down from distance. Schroeder's got five points now this quarter. Well, I think they're getting caught in that in-between zone. No man's land. Giving up three straight from beyond the arc right now. Stolen by Davis. Pulls up for three. Sinks another one. He's on a roll. Starting four for four. AD showing you his energy at the defensive end. Being the catalyst for a fast break chance. Jokic finds Gordon outside Murray. To end the run. That one a little long. Now Los Angeles with it. Outside Schroeder. Puts up a three. And the Lakers hit again from deep. From beyond the arc, Schroeder can be so effective. Defenses need to watch him out there. You can't sleep on him at the three-point line. Here's Jokic. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Lakers ahead, running away with it. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm with Coach Mike Malone. Coach, how concerned are you by the lack of urgency and execution in the first half? Yeah, very concerning. You know, uh, our starters weren't ready to play. They jumped us, tried to go to our bench, get them in the game. They took us out of our offense, uh, so we didn't really have any flow on either end of the floor. You have to get back to being you in that second half. Thanks, Coach Malone. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. Thanks for tuning in to our Game 6 coverage. A big lead through the first half for the Los Angeles Lakers. Relying on their subs to carry the load offensively, man, that's their recipe. Some terrific role players on this team, as you would say, Shaq, the others. Yeah, you got a bunch of microwaves on that bench. Seeing how things are shaking down for the Lakers. As they look to get back into the series, this first half, a strong step in that direction. You ever heard the phrase, no biscuits, no syrup? Similar to no retreat, no surrender. I like how they're remaining competitive. Man, I'm getting hungry, but staying after it, continuing to play their game, that's all you can ask of. No biscuits, no syrup? Yeah, I've heard that a lot growing up. 
Thanks for joining us. Time to head back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. Glad to have you with us as we return to the action here in the Western Conference Finals. You know, LeBron James has been exceptional here, guys. And if he felt any pressure coming into this game, he sure hasn't shown it. What a sensational start. Yeah, you know, I think he relishes the pressure, especially in a big game like this. He really eats that stuff up. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Jared Vanderbilt out there with LeBron James. And then it's Anthony Davis. Then it's D'Angelo Russell, and it's Reeves in at the shooting guard position. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Jokic with a screen on Russell. Five to shoot. Ooh, it's stolen away. Jokic against Davis from behind the arc. Ooh, he's locked in. Dream just fifth shot in his many attempts. Creating separation using the bounce. That's a skill that AD's developed over the years. Poke loose. Stolen by Russell. By himself. And then Russell with the dunk. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Well, turning defense to offense. We talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. A sensational block. And he's able to get it back. Shot clock at five. Here's Jokic. And he drops in the layup off the glass. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. And out of bounds, Denver will have it. And let's take a look at who's been lights out from beyond the arc in this year's playoffs. You look at Russell, never leave him open. Second in the association from deep. And of course, Jared Vanderbilt. These guys have delivered from beyond the arc in a big way here in the postseason. Stepping up and embracing the spotlight. Jackson, he's checked in for Murray. Jackson against Vanderbilt. Now here's Jokic, tightly guarded. What a terrific move that is. Jokic has got four points this quarter. You know, in the paint, Jokic is dominant because he can hurt you with the pass or with his scoring ability. And he knows how to position and assert himself in the paint area. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Yeah, and they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. Stolen by Davis. And here's the fast break. Russell from outside. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got three assists tonight. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Jokic passes to Porter. Back to Jokic. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Jokic has got six points. Well, you got to do more than that to stop Jokic. I mean, this guy is a master at converting through tough defense. He drops it from range. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. Knocked loose. James with a steal. Again, the Lakers. As soon as he got the ball, LeBron was full steam ahead. Pass to Porter. One forty-nine left in the third quarter of the game. And there's a three-second violation. The Lakers making a switch here. Hachimura's checked in. The Nuggets making a switch here. And here are the Lakers. They're on a 16-6 run. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Well, when you look at the assist totals, hey, they've been clearly the better team. 
the ball's knocked loose. Now here's Davis. He's got 14. And the Lakers hit again from deep. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Well, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. The three from Russell. And another three for the Lakers. All right, let's take a look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. Really a great job in this one, forcing the issue defensively. Great quickness and discipline combined, making ball handlers very uncomfortable. Well, another area they've been productive is off of turnovers, scoring many times after forcing the ball out of their opponent's hands. And look at for Vanderbilt. Imagine how much bigger this lead might be if he were a little more selfish. Russell against Jackson. Pass to Bryant. Six to shoot. Here's Najee. Jackson for three. Hachimura with a rebound. One side is dominated tonight. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job of imposing their pace and style of play. When Davis gets going like this, there's no way you can stop him, giving you his entire package right now. On the wing, Green. And it's rejected at the end of the third quarter. A huge lead. This one may have already been decided. The Lakers on top, running away with this one. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presentation.
Presented by State Farm. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. And Denver, looking at who they've got to start the fourth. We've got Zeke Naji, Jackson out there with Smith. Then there's Jeff Green. Beasley, that's good. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. You know, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. There's the three. And the Lakers hit again from deep. And at any level of basketball, the turnover differential can make all the difference. Value the possession. Vital to winning basketball games. We all know that. And if you don't, you cripple yourself. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture looks from outside the arc. Well, you know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. Walker covering. Jackson left side. Got a piece of it. Going all the way to the rack. Here's Hachimura. And it's slammed in by Hachimura. They're making it look easy out there. Just having fun. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. And for Denver, they're shooting around 50% of the game so far. Now the Lakers moving it up. Here's Beasley. Oh, what you oh, say? Wow. Beasley bouncing off the defense there and finding a way to still finish, making it look effortless. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Pass to Smith. Doubled by Beasley. Inside, looking to win the run. And it's laid up and in by Green. This is how you force a defense to collapse. Kick the ball right inside. And here's Schroeder outside. And another three for the Lakers. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Schroeder's gotten all four of his three-pointers to fall so far. Smith left side. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Pass to Achimura. Fires for three. Down the pipe it goes. Schroeder with the assist. Schroeder's got three assists now in this one. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Outside, Green. Here's Smith. Clock at six. Oh, it's stolen by Achimura. Up and over Smith. And there's another one for the Lakers. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine. Getting any look they want. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Green finds Jackson. Good on the bucket. Well, the defense allowed that one. He had a clear path to the cup. Outside Schroeder. Let's go with a three. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Boy, the man from Germany going off. Dennis Schroeder is in the zone. I want to see him continue to attack while he's feeling that hot. Pass to Green. The fader. Thompson pulls it in. There's no way that's the best look this offense can produce. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth to you. Hey, there was clearly plenty of fight in this one. No denying that. But only one team can come out on top. Nice game six win here for the Lakers. They ran the fast break beautifully all night long. It was a huge part of their success. It's so true. They clearly ran the floor well, 
constantly putting pressure on the defense. Just a tremendous effort. And after fighting tooth and nail for this win tonight, they're sending this conference final series to a Game 7. What a performance. Let's face it, this was a situation no team wants to be in. But with their backs up against the wall, they came out and really took care of business. They're still in this, and it's any one series now. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for LeBron James. Boy, this game really had his name all over it. I mean, Grell is being the guy to carry the load offensively. Smith against Schroeder. And we've got 28 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Green with a screen on Achimura. Jackson with it. Beasley covers. Got a hand on it. Pass to Walker. The three is up. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. And so it's the Lakers easily grabbing this one. They're able to force a winner-take-all game seven. They stave off elimination, and anyone can win this series now. And really, they answered the call tonight. With their backs against the wall, they fought with passion, and their season continues. All right, let's go courtside to Ali LaForce with our player of the game. Ali, it's all yours. LeBron, that was an impressive win. What did it take to get it done tonight? It's a really good team that we're playing. They're very resilient, just like us. They play together, they play hard, they play tough. So we had to bring that fight tonight. You brought it, it paid off. Congrats. All right, Ali, good stuff there. Thanks for that. That concludes this broadcast of the Western Conference Finals. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. Last but not least, here is your New Balance player of the game, LeBron James.